La 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 la. Recorded oh. December 20th, 2023. Welcome to the holiday edition of the Microsoft Security Insight Pod Show with our host, Rod Trent, Andrea Fisher, Edward Walton, and in spirit but not on, Brody Cassell. Andrew, how are you doing? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I am doing well. Nothing exciting. It's hard to believe Christmas is just a few days away. Got a little last minute shopping to do and lots of wrapping to do. But other than that, it's been pretty quiet around work. What about you? Um, yeah, that no wrapping. I didn't know you were spitting rhymes like that. You just like, <laughs> you know, and just spitting rhymes out there for the holidays. She was singing to me earlier. Really? And yep. sings to you? What? To, to all singing, of us, actually. Yeah. I was singing white. I was singing the Heat Miser, Snow Miser. Ah, classic claymation. I was watching Rudolph the Red Nose Killer Reindeer. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, a little bit of that. Not, you know, no little kids, you know, no nieces and nephews around locally. No, not even wrapping gifts for myself, so not so much packing because I'm getting ready to take some time off and go find warm weather. Um, Christmas is another thing that I do a whole lot like I used to when my, when my kids were smaller. So, um, And it's easier. I'm lazy. Gift card, cash, transmit, Vimo, cash app, Trillo, whatever is out there. <laughs> cash is king and queen and duke and duchess, whatever it is, so. That's it for me. We seeing everybody come on. Rod, what about you? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I, I do know one thing, that if you try not to work and just sit around, you get really tired. So I was about an hour ago. I'm like, man, I got to get up and do something. So I went and took a run. So I'm energized. But I learned something about myself this week. I tried to do the whole cold turkey stop working type of thing, but I'm not that kind of person, right? So I actually kind of enjoy what I do. It's like a hobby or a lifestyle. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit myself about it because, you know, I kind of enjoy what I do. So more of a slow fade, maybe by this time next week, after Christmas is over, I won't care about work. Yeah, <clears throat> which is much travel me and the missus do around the world. We overcame that by just coming up with a rule. Every you get to work one hour a day, right? And that way you you're not jonesing. So I yeah. know I'm going to work. I know I'm off off, but I'm I'm going to work one hour. It's it's sixty minutes. I'm done, and then you just put it up. And and even that when I go out this time, I'm not even taking the work laptop. If I can't do it via the phone, and if it's important, call me. Right. Yeah. Um. And then my you know my wife's self employed, so. She's always working, but for her to say one hour, laptops go into the safe and we're in a hotel or you get shut off, we shut the office. That's what we do, right? It doesn't take much for me. Like if I'm working, all she has to do is say, hey, I'm having beer. Click, 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 click. Everything's off, right? <laughs> just pull the wire out the wall and just run and do that. Uh, that's it. I'm, I Brody is in the midst of travel, so he's not able to be on the yeah. show. He's here in spirit, though. <laughs> He's, and, he's um, on the helicopter right now, I think. Right? He's on the helicopter. There you go. Jumping out of helicopters. Uh, I'll ask the arbitrary question because we always sort of do it in the show. Andrew, you work on anything cool at work this week or sort of like slow motion? Do you have any news that you could – I don't know. Should we wait till the beginning of the year to talk about that? I could probably go ahead and share, and then maybe we can talk some more uh, about it in the new year. But I yep. accepted a new role inside Microsoft, so I was a security TS, but I am now going to be working on the security co-pilot team. Um, so that should be super fun. Lots of new things to learn, for sure. Uh, so that's pretty much what I was doing this week. We've had some trainings on you know, what's coming, what's new, all that kind of stuff. So other than that... Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's been quiet. I, I think I, I, that made me super excited. I, I'm excited for you. I'm excited to see what the things that you learn. Unfortunately, I'm a little selfish too. I, I'm going to learn all the good stuff off of you. So, you know, I'll share what I can for sure. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you. Thank they, you, David. They, thank you. Thank you, everybody. That team, that group that you're going to, 
trade up in the draft to take you number one. That's how you do it. Smooth talker. And and they, yeah, I would make sure my signing bonus is like, hey, hey, you know, I am a franchise changer here. I'm the first, I'm once in a generation. I'm literally, you're going to go in and do amazing things. You have not worked together on the same team before, stress projects and everything. Um, they'll quickly learn, you know, you, everybody on that team is going to get imposter syndrome within mm, six months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so once again, congratulations, really mm -hmm. happy for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever you can share, I'm, I'm going to learn through you. Unlike, unlike Rod, I like secondhand. <laughs> Just give it to me. <laughs> you know, I don't have to be responsible. Hey, Trent, uh -huh. I see people are trying to join this, and they say, hey, mm -hmm. you're a maximum's 10, and blah, blah, blah. You can upgrade to get unlimited. I thought you upgraded. Well, we do have the upgrade, but um, if that pops up again, I'll I'll do the upgrade. It, we, we have, and people should know that, those watching and those listening a little bit later, we have lots of folks that have joined us today and we have people that are in the green room to join us for the holiday episode. People that they should recognize if they've been watching for the past entire year and well, a couple of years, really, because we actually have someone super special with us today, too, all the way from the North Pole. But we'll we'll get to that here. A little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's it's continued to pop up for me, uh, but but. I can't do it because it's. Well, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it next time it pops up. Yeah, I'll take care of it. If, if I have, if I disappear for a little bit, that's what I'm doing. Okay, and then we'll figure out the cost later. Gary, you're close. That's close. Should Here's should we close. should we start with that? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. We actually have Santa Claus on the show this year. We've been asking for this for a couple yeah. years, and it finally True. worked out. Finally worked out. Yeah, yep. it's so great to see you, Andrea, Rod, uh, Edward. You guys are just some of my favorite people. So thanks for having me on. Miss you, Ren. You know, yeah, um, me too. You're you're super important and busy and doing all the great things. I um um I was trying to surprise you with a with a Christmas thingy, but I couldn't pull it off. It was a special Lego thing. I was like, oh, he's gonna like this. Oh, he loved Lego. Yeah, I love Lego for sure. Somebody out, somebody outbid at me for it. <laughs> And, and not knowing, not knowing the relative cost of certain things, I'm like, is this too much? I'm not right. sure. No. Uh, I, what I was trying to do, since I noticed someone else got it, I'm a big Transformer fan, so I was able to find um, Omega Supreme, mm -hmm. the and I and someone outbid me for it. I'm like, wow, it's they spent a lot of money on this too, and I was trying to get another one of those, the uh, the uh, the Constructicons that you make Devastator with. I'll bid it on that one too. So probably has something to do with the holidays and people spending money, right? Yeah, for right. Sure. No, for sure. And this well, occurred to me to do this a while back and I sat on my hand. So shame on it. Those <laughs> older uh, Transformers, those go for quite a bit of money. Oh, yes, yeah. they do. Yes, yes they, they do. do. And how, they how, many, how many elves does it take to put together something like the Millennium mm -hmm. Falcon Lego set? <laughs> <laughs> well, they work, they work in pairs, so you know, and they're pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they you got know? fast hands. I've I've seen uh, I've seen a couple movies. I'm not yep. saying that yep. that's realistic, but yeah, I think they got and, that from somewhere. And one of my one of my guests said, "My son is watching Santa." So, you know, uh, I, I I I would tell everybody that's listening, watching. <laughs> I I was I was not very good this year. And so Santa's like, I asked him for something. And Santa's like, uh, uh no, uh -huh. no, you're worse than a Grinch this year. And so, so I was like, so what do I get this year? Coal? And then Santa was like, coal's too good for you. Let me show you what I'm going to put in your stocking, and this will teach you a lesson, Edward. I said, what do you give me? He gives me this garbage first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And Where I was did like, you get that? Where did you get goes, that? Is it, is it the one with the CD in it? There's a CD inside. It is. Damn. Yes, oh, there it is. And then I go. Oh my goodness. I wasn't that bad. He said you were worse. Oh no. This will learn you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All by Rod right, Trent. I think. I think you I. Really yeah. Then yeah. I say I, I get. You know, you know, I had a life before Microsoft. Oh, you didn't have a life. Yeah. And he said, "Will that teach you a lesson?" I was like, "Yes, Santa." 
you're not contrite and you're not sincere. This will really learn you. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> oh, that was the worst. That oh, I hated that one. That so was uh, that was the book where I decided I'm never writing a book ever again. And, and so I and, and all, yeah, all, all these books are written by Rod Trent. An interesting reading, not reading through the book, is reading his forward, the people he think in the book, and me looking them up. Uh, are are any of them still alive? I wish you hadn't led with that because I was about to mention your dad's name, <laughs> Porter, you know, uh, Porter Trent. I, I, I hope Mr. Trent is. No, my dad, he, he passed a couple years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I pulled this one up first because it, it, all these teach me something about you I didn't know. You know, giving thanks to. Your children. I won't mention their names on live TV. Now I know how many children you have. As I only no, I only had a couple at that point, right? So, uh, yeah, that that book led to a couple more. I think. We're just wow. Like, hey, we need to. Do each, <laughs> each each forward is pretty good in here, and uh, I can see where people. Have, I bought these offline, and some of them are highlighted notes, great tips in it. This one right here with the CD is obviously used. They put the CD back in and sealed it up. Yeah, you know it has scratches on it, but. That was that that was the original GitHub, right? So all the scripts and everything mm -hmm. that were in the print are on that CD, so they could yeah have access to everything. So. I I bought these just as a little make you smile thing, man. It's it's, it's actually that's brings back memories, man. I've been around this long. Wow. So I, I, I promise, that I'll be good next year. Don't do me like this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for having a, a good sense of humor. Oh, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get better. Yeah. Um, let, let's go ahead and bring a couple other people on while we're here. How about that? Um, along with Santa, because I'm sure there's plenty of people that want to talk to Santa. And I'm looking through our green room and I see two other people with hats on. So that's who I'm choosing. Hey. Just so we are all on the same page. Henrik, Brody number two, is here. And then, of course, Morton as well. So two days. I think, Morton, when I see you sometime, in March? Yeah, you yeah. will. So we are so lucky to have Rod Trent to come for Experts Live Denmark uh, oh, wow. for, for March the 20th. So we're really, really excited about that. And, and uh, he will also uh, be joined by Donna Sarker. Uh, to, so this is going to be really cool. So I and, really and, I'll, you to and I'll bring those books with me. So, you know. Very good, <laughs> and, and 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 a and a and a, a vicious rumor that Edward Walton may be there too. <laughs> I told well, you I was coming. Oh, that would yeah. be awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I I am well man of my we word. Could do, we could do the show from Denmark. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah De awesome. Denmark is much closer than me promising to come down to Australia to some of the other folks. <laughs> come to and say come Andrea to is on a new team. She might. They might let her come with us. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. put it out there. Denmark. Let's do it. I've never been before. I, all right. show, us, show us all around. Am I going to freeze to death during that time? <laughs> or wish I was dead? From, from I, actually, I had a, a funny experience uh, last week uh, when we were talking about traveling because suddenly I received an email from the U.S. government saying that my visa was revoked. And uh, and uh, so I couldn't travel to the U.S. anymore. And the reason for that was that apparently there was a new rule that was implemented uh, saying that people that have went to Cuba uh, for vacation, uh, they get their visa revoked. So I had to spend, uh, you know, an evening filling out like 300 questions and going to the U.S. Embassy uh, Monday. And today I received my 10 year visa uh, and I was approved to get it. Uh, so, but it was a little, uh, you know, uh, scary in a way. Uh, suddenly you cannot travel anymore. So, uh, but we managed to get it. So, I think, uh, you know, it was really imp impressive to see that they could manage to get it solved in one day. So, that was pretty impressive. I would love to know why. I mean, <clears throat> I know that the US has a little bit of a pie on the face for one of our most senior people being a double agent. Um, I, but I, I don't know I, why. I mean, they were using, you know, they closed down something because it's it, some kind of list or something. But everything was sorted out. So I'm uh, I'm good for now. So I can come back to the U.S. again. 
Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, along that line, Edward, just so you know, I think I told you this, I couldn't get global entry to come back into the US after traveling abroad because I was arrested when I was like 20 for drunk and disorderly. So okay. that will prevent you from uh, getting global access. So. 20, so you got arrested last year? Oh, okay. see, Edward is smooth talking tonight. Woo! Uh, <laughs> he really does want some good Christmas, bro. <laughs> I mean, you know, she never did send me my bottle of scotch, so evidently I made I'm a I'm not sitting right here. I'm going to see you. <laughs> and I got your bottle sitting right here, uh, this little fancy rosé. I might try to put it in the mail before I, I head out tomorrow. It's just the line at UPS and USPS and every other shipping places around the corner, up the street, down the door. But the grocery stores are packed. Hey, before we do the next guest, we are, you know, security thing, and we, you know, to make sure that we do the thing. I want to talk at least technical about one thing, and this is going to be geared toward Andrea. So I'm going to share my screen, and this stuff is starting to become per pervasive because I have a process watcher, and I, I, it's legacy software I have it on, so I know when certain software goes. I keep a uh, dossier of what new processes it it does. But MDE flagged on this one time, and then I tried to find it. I didn't see it. And when I go to my process generation reporting to, I forget what it's called, I saw this. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. Um, how did I do that, Rod, again? Present down at the bottom. Yeah, and present. And share screen. screen. Yeah. Well, we have a bunch of experts here, so don't leave it up to me. We got Santa, we got Henrik and Morton and Rod, so let's all take a look at whatever this is. All right, let's see. While we're waiting, while we're watching Edward, I'm going to pull someone else on screen with us. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yep. So, you see what I'm running atypical stuff. Look at that. Artificial intelligence host for the, what's the um, Outlook. What's full name? Um, you have a it. Yeah. It is. I think you can just hover over it for the windows. Oh, yeah, that's the um, co-pilot for Windows, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it just started coming into my system. And so it started with that. And now that process is manifesting in the office products. And all that. You can see PowerPoint, all this. Because I know the reason I brought that up, Rod was sort of beside himself because he couldn't get into the code. Yeah, I'm, super, yeah, I'm, I'm just, still super jealous. I don't have that. <laughs> I'm like, it's it's showing up in my stuff. And I'm like, oh. And it, it so MDE flagged at it first. And then it stopped. And then when I looked at it, I'm like, what is that? Huh. But I, I do I, have I, it now, by the way. Okay, well, there you go. So I made some phone calls. You're good. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Um, well, that Christmas. gives me something else to look for in the logs, though, to figure out if. So, oh, we got somebody else that jumped in. Totally jumped I did in. want to also introduce um, Noodle is here with us as well. Noodle, hey. for those that have, for those that have watched the show for a while, you know that we have this individual that we call Noodle that helps out with our Discord channel. Is the uh, the admin, the server admin for our Discord channel? This, um, Toby, would you like to introduce yourself with your real name and all that good kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, so I am Toby. Um, I am a security architect. I work for a uh, MSP um, for now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, happy to be here. Um, I'm not not very good on camera, so I'm uh, just. Uh... Well, apparently you're talking to yourself in the chat, so I just thought I'd throw. It out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good in chat on camera, not so much. Yeah, but we're so we're so happy that you're here and appreciate you actually being here with us and all the work that you have done for us over. I mean, it's just all volunteer stuff, right? Obviously, yeah. you're eventually you'll, you know, call in favors, but and that's OK. That's yeah. right. I've got no favors to ask at the moment. OK, keep them, keep them, keep them in, you know. Yeah, you've done a lot with automation and the discord and all this other stuff, which I need to get back in and, and be more active in. It keeps logging me out for some reason. So but uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, hopefully, hopefully next year I have a bit more time so I can put a bit more effort into it. Okay, we really appreciate that. Yeah, we got a we got a green room full of people. There's probably we got a beer, we got a snacks. They're eating up all the stuff in the green room. So <laughs> I, I heard a lot of noise in there. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Someone I think kind of got in an argument. I'm not sure. Done. Um, 
But those that are on screen now, anytime that you need to go, um, Ren, I truly appreciate you being here. <laughs> what show could be better without Santa Claus? So that's, I think that's super, super awesome. And I'm glad you did that. And I think what most people don't realize is that you actually do this as part of giving back to your community. This is not just something, you know, you didn't buy this outfit. It wasn't just sitting around somewhere. This is something you actually do. I think you, it'd be awesome if you explain that. Yeah. So thank you. Um, no, in, in my day job, um, I'm a cybersecurity professional like you guys. Uh, and, and I love what we do. I love, uh, you know, David Foss is, is a, uh, you know, I think he, he congratulated you, Andrea. Uh, he's my manager, love him to death. And I just want to give him a shout out and what we're trying to accomplish it within our, within our socks. So, um, there's that, but, uh, uh, when I'm not, you know, doing cyber security and, and focused on those efforts, um, uh, this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. We, uh, we started this about 13 years ago. Um, and we really wanted to, learn how to to truly embody you know santa through uh, a a charitable uh way of giving back and so we started a toy drive um we just had our toy drive uh two weekends ago um i think we hit an all-time high of, of handing out toys but uh, I brought a sleigh back from Illinois, uh, which was fantastic. So I've got my sleigh and we had uh, horses pulling it. Uh, we had wagons full of toys and we probably had 40 or 50 volunteers uh, helping us, you know, hand out toys. And that was just magical. It was amazing. Um, we do a lot of things around the community. I spent the, uh, a lot of time with special needs kids this morning um, in, in just being with them, feeling their spirit. Uh, and, and helping them feel seen and heard. And that is just, that fills my cup. Uh, it, it's just amazing to be around, uh, you know, you know, kids like that. We got to see a, a really dear friend of mine. His name is Eli. Um, and uh, we've probably been with his family and coming and seeing him, gosh, you know, six, seven years in a row now. Uh, he's, he's in a, a, an elongated bed, um, you know, very special needs, uh, nonverbal, uh, and uh, it was just very heartwarming to be able to be with him today. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we do, and and we love doing it. Yeah, that's that's super awesome. I, I people don't realize the effort. <clears throat> I don't think that you put into this, right? So that's a that's a real beard. That's that's the real color. That's I mean, because you're not normally you wouldn't normally have a white beard. So right. Yep. Thank you. Yep. So that, that takes a lot of effort. That really shows just a super kind heart. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yep. Ren has always been that giver. He he essentially hired me into the GBB role and around the Sentinel stuff. One of the best interviews. A lot of times you go through interviews, you don't learn anything. Had I not even gotten a job, I still <laughs> I learned a lot. Him and I had to, it was 30 minutes. Finally, I, I think Ren had to cut me off like an hour and a half. <laughs> Say, I, I got stuff to do it <laughs> you know I, like, I appreciate it so thank you I, I would not have been exposed to Sentinel and all that and had you not made the decision to say hey man I want him on the team I think I think he's gonna do good work so I appreciate that that was a good Christmas present that year and that seems, it's, it's been a long time we golly it's whew, blown by <laughs> blown by that was yeah, that. even before those books um <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I think the person who originally had these books when I'm outside now, he walked up like this with him. <laughs> he had them above his head and he threw them down. Ready That's to cool. break them over the snow. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, that. Well, we got more people in there. We, we, we do. In there. Um, I, I think as we go along, um, I think people, Rand, I appreciate you showing up. Um, if you want to go, that, that's great. Um, Morton, you and I will connect after this. Like I said, we have some, a bunch of other folks. And because we do have that limit, I just tried to go yeah. in and purchase that. We'll talk about that after the show because that is another significant um, expenditure, which you know we'll all talk about as we go along. But, um, all right. Well, Morton, we'll, I'll talk to you later. Henrik, stick around. We've not talked to you yet. Yeah. Um, and so um, I want to bring on a couple other folks here real quick. Um, first off, uh, one that kind of, ignited my interest there's something sparkly in the green room 
And also, I was thinking we needed a Grinch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. John, you're on mute, buddy. Yeah, that was just to prevent all these strange feelings that are coming out, you know, <laughs> I'm here. So. I, I didn't think there were any Grinches in 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 Canada, Canada. You know, everybody up there is so nice. I'm Ohio, so that's uh Yeah, that's uh, even worse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah that's absolutely. where I'm from, John. You know that. So. I know, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought you resigned north of us. And now that I go back from... Well, that's, you, anything is north from you, Edward. <laughs> because uh, you're in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's where the sanity lies. I'm not one of those Florida people, right? That's, that's... <laughs> it's Florida here. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. Right on the lake. Yeah, you know, yeah, if you go yeah. north, you get wet. And then at the other side, you have Canada. So close enough, Edward. Close yeah. enough. How have yeah. you been, sir? I have been, uh, well, doing my... Uh, Grinchy thing, trying to keep people from needing to make uh, make insurance claims and making sure that they get paid when they do. So, yeah, yeah, your episode was one of the personal most informative to me. I, you, things about cybersecurity insurance, I go, and I, I I took a lot of those tidbits and told people, especially about underwriting and choosing your response uh, entity. People like I did not know that. I need to go back and reread. I said, you reread all you want. If you in contract, that's how it is. Yep. Right. There was a couple of folks I told about that it, who work at law firms. They did not know that, but they weren't surprised. Mm -hmm. like, I can see that. And Angelica, I know that you started a new role. She did. New being sort of relative. That's the reason you sort of fell off the map. <laughs> you know? Yeah, uh, I started in October. I actually joined Brody's team, technically. So I joined uh, the Microsoft, uh, what is it, Security Enterprise Services. We were recently renamed. So I'm back in delivery, um, and I'm really enjoying it, to be honest with you. It's been it's a lot of work, but it's a lot so what, of fun. What, what's it like working with Brody? Can you tell us? <laughs> so I work in the same team. I haven't been on the same um, oh, okay. You know, delivery yet. Uh, Look at this, actually, all the congratulations all the way around. Everybody that's part of the show, there's just like something super exciting happening. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, and actually, congrats, Andrea, to uh, on your new uh, team. My friend Rick is actually joining the same team, so I, I think that team is going to be very talented people in there. Awesome. Rick. What's uh, what's Rick Cutlers, he was uh, with me in GPS for a little bit, and now he's um he's with Andrew's team. Oh, okay, okay. You guys are yeah. gonna have all the fun, and we're gonna grab all the knowledge from you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. We, we're gonna we're gonna you know task Andrew with coming in and do a brain dump about what she's doing, what she can talk about. So very interesting set of subtopics, or because I've I've talked to Fender experts that you know to death, and I want to. That'll be great. Andrew, once you get in, we should have a two-part show. All things co-pilot. <laughs> or co-pilot for security. Sorry. Yeah. Edward and Rod, I bet you you'll remember this one. So uh, you brought up those books, and I was thinking uh, back in the day of an all-nighter I pulled to try and bring up an exchange server. And, of course, you know, 56K internet, you're not downloading. So I went to the Barnes and Noble and bought the exchange server book from Microsoft Press that had the eval CD in the mm -hmm. back to rebuild this <laughs> server. How many of us have been there before? <laughs> yeah, I, I I have been there because I would go in. I had to do something similar and you, you would go buy the resource kit. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get, I was trying to find it in the MSDN subscription in the, in the big CD thing and someone had taken the darn thing. And I'm like, what can I get it? And I went to um, not Barnes and Nobles, but um, Walden Books. Uh-uh, not Walden. Walden Books. Books there. Micro Center. Not long ago. Wow. Micro Center. <laughs> not Micro Center. The other oh. place that was a that was a competitor oh. to Barnes and Nobles. Yeah. Oh, uh, Borders. 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 Borders yeah. Books. That's it. Yeah. I went to Borders and got it, and uh, and and and, and did it, and uh, yeah, that that was crazy. And then eventually after that, all I found it darn msdn thing they had the resource kit in it i mentioned having to get the resource kit a while back and uh, somebody from the audience told me that they think there's a shot for that yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i got some of the old stuff i 
I don't think, I, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to hold on to it. It's, it's, nope. it's absolutely some of the good stuff. Because uh, one of the things had a ISA um, uh, uh, on the on the resource kit, ISA 2003, something like that. <laughs> before they before they started calling it TMG, I believe that's what they did it. So yeah, yeah good good stuff. I'll and, have to bring it on the show one of these days. But I still have the entire box set of SMS 1.1. Oh man! Right. <laughs> because was, well, I think the Smithsonian's going to give you a call about that here. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. Well, look at look at my wall. Everything <laughs> I have back there is from the 1970s. So right. yeah, but that's all classic stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure SMS is classic. 27, <laughs> 27 disc set. Yeah, I I I find myself not throwing away certain things. I I still have a three com switch. Downstairs. Oh boy! Anybody no. remember this baby? I don't know if can... We can't see it. It's just showing. Uh, it's your it, background. It's an original Commodore 64 <sighs> shell. Mm -mm. I have it hanging on my wall just so that people can make me feel old by walking in and going, "What's that?" Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough reasons to feel old. Bald head, gray hair, none of that, right? So, I I think I bought my first computer. When I really wanted to really do computer stuff, I don't think the term Dan was IT. It was just you, computer dude. I bought it from Finger Hut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the good old v Finger Hut. They had a V20 hut. processor. Did you order from the catalog? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. Had payment plans on it too. Layaway. It didn't have a 286 processor. It had some little off brand processor. <laughs> they call it a V20. And I think it was running at 33 megahertz. <laughs> That's what they said anyway. And I taught my and I taught myself DR DOS on it. DR DOS, yeah, DR DOS seven. I remember that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I think it's um, worthwhile, at least, since this is kind of the holiday episode. And maybe if you want to use the technology theme, kind of go around the room here with our guest. What are you expecting to get for Christmas? Technology-wise or just any gift? Yeah, eh, technology-wise, maybe. How about that? Because well, I, I don't, I I don't want to know. I don't want to know about some of the stuff, right? So that's probably not for the show, but we'll just stick with technology. John, what are you expecting to get for Christmas? Well, uh, so some of you may know this, but um, I am a master instructor for scuba diving. I've been an instructor since 2002. And... Um, Oceanic just actually released a housing for the the iPhone that allows me to turn it into an actual quality dive com camera and computer. I already do that with the Ultra 2, but um, this way I can do it with my, uh, with my phone. I don't have to carry a separate camera anymore or charge separate batteries or any of that junk. So I'm pretty excited about that. Nice. That's pretty crazy. That's awesome. Angelica? What are you, what are you, I don't know, looking for? And, and it kind of sounds, I don't know, sounds bad, doesn't it? What are you looking to get for a Christmas? <laughs> so I actually, um, I actually got myself a chair. That's really like the physical present. But um, we're going on vacation. We're going to Punta Cana in Dominican Republic. And we leave uh, Saturday. So I'm looking forward to spending time with, because uh, my boys are older. Um, so, you know, when they get older, it's like you really just value the time that you spend with them. That's the thing that you value the most. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so my oldest lives in Seattle, so he's going to meet us there. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's super awesome. I, I I get it. Right. Because, you know, my kids, I have more kids than are listed in those books. But um, my kids are, you know, they're all older. We, we still have one at home. And, you know, we're spending that time with her, but we have one that, you know, lives a couple hours away and he'll be here for Christmas. And I just, I don't know, I crave that. Right. You just, uh, Same here. yeah, it's difficult to, with all of life and being busy, it's difficult to kind of think about that when it's happening versus when you don't have it anymore and you're really kind of hunger for it. So yeah, I get that. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, you're doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be a lot of fun. Plus we get to do lots of adventure stuff like, um, uh, um, you know, and, and, and 
it's, it's tropical weather too. So we get to enjoy the ocean and do all that stuff. So it should be fun. Yeah. And Henrik, um, other than guest hosting on the show this next year is one of your gifts. Um, <laughs> yeah, what else thanks. are you looking for for the holidays? Uh, tech, of course. And it's probably, I'm hoping for a ubiquity AI bullet cam. <laughs> so I can start reading license plates and playing a while around with collecting license plate numbers <laughs> down the street. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, not officially, of course. I didn't mean that. <laughs> no. yeah. There you go. Yeah. People down the street will start getting weird messages in their in their in their mailboxes. Like, where is this coming from? You ran that stoplight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a real thing, though. Um, someone thought it was clever to make their license plate name no, and they got all the tickets from the system that couldn't identify it, and that field in the program said no. It was it, it was on <laughs> NPR or something, and the guy got like a gazillion tickets uh, from the um, code enforcement or, or, or driver enforcement about it. So be careful what you put on your license plates these days. They are being read, if not by you, by somebody, right? Yeah, and don't obscure your license plate either. I had someone pull me over and like, we couldn't see your license plate. For what? <laughs> what do you need to see it for? <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, cool. Andrew, did you say what you were getting? You know, we just don't have any little ones. And my sister and I, we went and got a pedicure. That was our big thing. But tech wise, oh. um, honestly, I got both. I got all of us just some little things. I got it's like a little you put your iPhone cord in there and you can wrap it around and then it kind of locks in. So you can keep that in your purse where you're, so your cord isn't flying everywhere. And I got some of the little mini, you know, there's so many tiny um, uh, power bricks anymore. So I got some tiny ones. Just, I just did a bunch of little stocking stuffers like that, but. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Aruba tomorrow. So I'm going to collect solar energy <laughs> on the beach, <laughs> D directly convert it in my, through my skin. And, um, and relax a little bit. So vitamin so, D therapy. Somewhere to run where it's warm because I can't do the rod thing running outside in the cold. I, I, I can't do it. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm a wimp that way. So that's that's my Christmas gift to myself. Doing that. Head it out tomorrow. Have fun. And um, so we have uh, more guests. Um, please, I promise you all know I love you to death. Um, don't be offended, but we, we kind of need to kind of shuffle people out. Thank you so much for coming on for this episode and, and happy holidays to everyone. Um, I may, Henrik, I'm going to leave you on. I'm going to make you suffer. Thank all of you. <laughs> all right. Take care. Be well. Um, you. I would love to bring on two people from the same company mm -hmm. who are here waiting with us. Um, partners of ours, super, we love these people. Um, Eric and Mona. Mona! Hi, hey. everyone. It's so good What's to up? see you guys again. Thanks for Hi. having us. Ah, it, it's good. Eric! Howdy! What's up? What's up, homie? Not much, man. How's things? I'm... What do you mean, not much? We have a huge announcement oh, oh. that just came out last week. I was just going to ask you how you thought about that. Was that the big Christmas present? Uh, yeah, Santa came early for Blue Voyant. Um, we closed oh, I thought our you guys series. got married or something. You're going to announce. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not that. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, he is my work husband in some capacities, but not uh, yeah, yeah. not, not any more than that. Um, no, uh, we're super excited. Santa came early. Uh, we closed our Series E round funding, $140 million. Um, and we used it to buy a company called Conquest Cyber. Woohoo! So uh, for those of you guys who don't know Conquest Cyber, they were the U.S. Defense and Intelligence uh, Partner of the Year last year. So we were MSSP Partner of the Year. You know, kind of makes sense to really target, um, you know, our, our U.S. federal government, state and local government, um, be there to support um, kind of our, our, our friends uh, in those areas um, and really try to fulfill that dream of, you know, what if you have commercial instances and you have GCC, GCC high instances, is there a provider who could actually help you with all of those instances, provide managed services, MDR and risk services? 
So the great part about the other great part about um, our acquisition of Conquest Cyber is that they have a really fantastic perspective on risk um, using Microsoft compliance purview, um, really augmenting more of our Microsoft security stack uh, in our portfolio. Um, so we aren't just looking at security, we're, we're looking at security compliance identity um, and really being that partner that you could come to for managed services around any of those things. And, and really the most exciting part is when we say managed services, we don't just mean MDR and looking at alerts. We're really leaning into this idea that Microsoft done right requires a level of technology management, IT operations support as well. So you're gonna start seeing Blue Point broaden ourselves out um, a little bit more and stand up and say, you know what, we are the partner for your entire Microsoft stack. Uh, and we are so excited to build that future, um, you know, with Conquest now part of Blue Wyant. So I mean, it's thrilled. really kind of like two greats, like Taylor Swift and Travis Kells coming together. So I know, right? <laughs> we're Taylor Swift, in case you guys are curious, like we're the Taylor Swift. Um, no, but uh, 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 that was a fantastic joke. I, I really appreciate it, Andrea. You got your audience spot on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, we're super excited. Uh, we had our holiday party and got to learn a little bit more about our Conquest friends. And um, I think it's going to be a really great match. I'm really looking forward to to seeing the companies grow together. Congratulations on that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I remember when it was announced and everything. So uh, good, good stuff around that. Um, yeah, it means that we're busy for the next few months. I've got a, a stacked calendar. <laughs> yeah. Are you coming my way? first of the year right aren't you doing something here in atlanta i promise i'll come to atlanta if you ask me <laughs> um it doesn't take much you don't have to twist my arm <laughs> i've got a couple customers i've been meaning to visit um anyway so i'll definitely definitely plan to come and hang out or you can yep. come and hang out with me in new york city uh you know christmas in new york i hear is beautiful actually it's fantastic um so just, i've here. spent christmas and new year's in new york before but i've already got commitments i gotta Go to this Caribbean island and and yeah, man. Boundaries. I heard about that earlier. I was like, man, he's got the right idea. I'm sitting here, you know, worried about it being cold and what. I have to take my dog out, wear a jacket, and he's like, Santa Claus is like, <laughs> bye. No, it. Um, I, I am just not up on geography. Is Aruba considered Caribbean? Right. Yeah, is it that Aruba, way? Jamaica. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Andrea, uh, Mona, you should do a duet. Do yeah, I should. <laughs> Actually, little I trivia. really can't stay. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I know you guys wanted to get through folks, but I uh, I really just wanted to stop in and say hi and um, share the great news and let you guys know that uh, you know Blue Boy is growing um, and we're continuing to grow. So if you know great people who are looking for a great place to call home, uh, send them my way. Like Eric, what's it like working for Mona or working with Mona? Sorry. <laughs> it, it's great most of the time. Yeah. yeah. As, as, he, as he moves forward with body language and blinks twice. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Oh, you know what? You know, he got, he got promoted. So, you know, he left for him. Uh, he gets to work with the Azure architects now. Um, uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should congrats and say a congrats to Eric too. He's been he's been really doing great things for Blue Voyant and is a bright shining star for us. That's here. what I hear. That's that, that's what I hear. That's what I hear. Yeah, it's all all good stuff too. So he, he makes the most controversial, engaging post on LinkedIn. He he, he drives emotion. <laughs> yeah, man. Congrats on your twenty five thousand followers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it was a big yeah. big moment. Well, you uh, it, it, you got it's an acquired taste, right? It's uh, an acquired taste, yeah. 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 I, 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 it, it throws me off a little bit because, are you from from Arkansas? Because I think you and my wife are from the same spot. Yeah, little North North Little Rock, right? That's correct. Yeah, that's where my wife is from, North Little Rock. So I just come up there all the time, and I ran the Little Rock Marathon every March. I'm gonna come up there and run. I haven't I done that one yet. Yeah, it's pretty nice because they remember they changed the bridge. So you don't go across the old bridge anymore. You got to come across. And then we run around the Clinton Library. I think it, we come back the backside if you run. Yeah. yeah. And the medals you get are literally bigger than your chest. <laughs> They're so nice. And you get the gumballs if you win the team. Those are medals. <laughs> They're medals. Okay. Yeah. Very nice race. It's, it's great the hospitality. If you win the 10K, you get a gumball machine that's about this big. And it makes real gumballs. So, not that I won, one of the guys on my team won. So, 
we we opened the top and shared all the, the bubble gum out of it. Eric, I didn't know you were a runner. No, nope, not much anymore. Uh, oh, that's maybe what it's about like 10 or 15 for. years ago, but uh, past that now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like working for Mona. She's like, now he just runs his run, mouth. No, he just runs his mouth. That's what he runs now. That's yeah. it. That's it. A little that's bit. It. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, it's, it's beginning of running my mouth. Uh, uh, I did uh, put out a new version of a project on GitHub uh, this week to kind of help people deploy Defender for Cloud uh, a little bit faster, uh, right? So if you don't like clicking all the boxes and you want to just click one box, uh, mm -hmm. just head over to GitHub and go to uh, uh, MS Dirtbag and uh, download that there. <laughs> oh, so GitHub slash MS Dirtbag. Is that it? Yes, sir. I will. Uh, I'll put that in the show that. notes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm making a note right now. Defender for Cloud. Got it. Uh, well, Mona, it's, um, I will um, find an opportunity to get, you know, north of New York and come hang out. Yeah, you know? we'd love to have you anytime. You want to talk well, you're on any of our webcasts? Yeah. Oh, I'll be there. Um, Are you coming on the 25th? Are you coming I'm, on the 25th with Judson? Coming in for the AI, AI tour, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll see you. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate the time. Thanks for letting us share our great news. Yeah. And happy uh, yeah, happy holidays to everybody. I uh, wish you all the best. Same. Um, same I'll to you. Thank you. I show notes, Rod. You're going to have a whole day's worth of work. Announcements, oh, promotions, yeah. all this. It's, it's, it's expanding. I have to go back sometimes. Uh, now that. <clears throat> now that we have Blue Point gone, I want to bring uh, Noodle back on with Henrik. We still have some other folks still in the uh, in the green room. We've had everybody on so far, but now some people have left. So hopefully, those that will be shuffling in will be able to log in. Um, but again, we'll have to Is the green work room on the uh, the subscription a little bit later for more. Yeah, people are bouncing in and out. I get it. Uh, wow, we we've almost blown through an hour that that fast. So, well, you got good good people here. I guess it goes that goes that way. As far as tech, I'm not. Um, you say a state of tech. I I put it in a vacation. I, I I'm actually not buying anything. I got a laptop. Oh. Um, because I want a, a a dedicated machine that I'm. I started my um my uh, journey path whatever else to uh, take the Sands uh, course 508. Oh yeah, you mentioned the. That. Yeah, so I started on that. Uh, got all the cool posters, Andrea. The Hunt Evil. They updated the Hunt Evil. Oh, poster. good. That was a fun one. Yeah. Uh, now they actually put it on there, whereas you can buy it without actually having to go take a course and having it included in there, which is cool. So they have it. It's twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks for that poster. So they sent a D a DFIR poster, and they got one for Hunt Evil. Speaking of that, um, big shout out to Frank. Grimberg, he couldn't make the show. Talked to him for a good while yesterday. He called me to <laughs> – he always calls me on these arbitrary things. Uh, he and his wife got a new dog, German Shepherd, pedigree dog, and they needed me to help determine the name. They couldn't figure out the name. I'm like, dog name? I don't know. Renton 10, Rover, Killer, whatever you want to call the dog, right? Biter, you know. But um, I uh, he said that he will come on next year. He's just been super busy, and um, he couldn't make the show this year. But uh, shout out to Frank Grimberg. Yep. He's doing he's doing well. Family's doing well. Uh, his wife and I love science fiction and anime and horror shows. So we all Jamie and I always talk about you know what what new slasher movies that are out there, right? Um, going on. Do you like slasher movies, really? Long yeah, a little bit. I like, um, have I you? Like, I watched the new Thanksgiving slasher movie today, by the way. Uh, what? Turkey There's, Strike Back? No, they actually came out one just called Thanksgiving. And um, there were a couple scenes where I had to look away. So if you like slasher films, it's a good one. Well, no, uh, thank you. Not for me. I mean, I don't like. Hey, who's that? Hello. Hey, look at that dude right there. It's Luke Skywalker. It is. It is Sky Young Skywalker. And a festive sweater, no less. You're my Christmas jumper. Oh, look at that! That look looks at. great. Is that from the Star Wars holiday episode? 
Yeah. Uh, no, it's just, it's just the um, Empire Strikes Back. Good old oh. Wolf is on it. That's my only Christmas new... jumper I have. That's a new Star Wars movie coming out, right? I saw some trailers or something. There is. is. It on... Who new owns it? Is new, game, new games coming out? New, new movie being made? Good times. <clears throat> For those that don't know, this is Richard Diver who's just joined us. Those just listening in instead of watching. Our good buddy Richard Diver is here. Disney owns nice Star Wars? Know. That's right, right? Yeah. Disney owns everything except for what? Notice there's no anti-compete conversations against them, DC. right? They own DC? Oh, yeah, they own parts of the um, who owns DC? Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers is in trouble, is from what I hear. So maybe, maybe Disney Wait, will get DC. I don't know. So you have DC, and you have the. No, that's different. That's no, Marvel. Disney. You have the Disney Marvel Cinematic Marvel. Universe, and you have something. So DC well, is owned by Marvel is owned by Disney. But... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Disney too. Portions of it's owned by Disney. Yeah, they 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 can't get the other half because you got the MCU, which is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then you have the other Marvel movies. Um, Marvel gets the movies right. Actually, they don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> DC doesn't get the movies right, but DC gets the television right. Yeah. If you're watching yeah. Titans, you know, um, Flash, uh, the old Superman that was on, um, Legends of Tomorrow, Green Lantern, uh, Black Lightning, when you watch those on WB or whatever else, they're good. Um, movies? Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't mind the Suicide Squad, at least the second one. I thought yeah. they did a much better job. I watched The Flash, and there were just so many gaps. And maybe because I'm a comic nerd and a comic hit, it was a lot of gaps. Like, no, it don't work that way. You know, doing that right. Um, and uh, I saw a trailer for another. I've not seen the Marvels switching genre, uh, switching companies. I heard it was just okay, also. So I thought it was adorable, but maybe it was oh, yeah. not for, for. I watched Barbie. Uh, I've not watched that. Uh, I I watched it. Yeah, it yeah. it 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 had entertaining it's, moments. So when I watched it on a flight, I just had this week. Yeah. Going out, I'm like, uh, coming back when I had the, the you know the luxury of having two or three beers, it was much more entertaining. I laughed. I laughed outright <laughs> at some of the stuff. I, I yeah. liked it. I liked it up till about uh, in three, three quarter, and then they it just stopped being funny or something. They were trying to wrap maybe, it. Up. Maybe to you, but to Oh. The women of the world, we thought it was oh. terrible. Well, no, I, I liked it. I thought it was oh, hilarious. Some of it was um, funny. Then they tried to get serious. I, I hate when comedies do that. But Yeah, they had to wrap it up. And yeah. The hardest thing of any person that creates something, and, and Andrew is a writer, I mean a writer, writer, trained, is to start and to finish. The guts sort of fill themselves out. How to close, I like how to close out a movie. The movies that close out the best that I watch them every November. Um, I love watching all of the Lord of the Rings stuff. Love it. I watch all the Lord of the Rings during that Thanksgiving two weeks. I watch all of the Matrices, and then I watch Ten Commandments. Those are my movies. Those, those are my holiday nice. movies. Charleston Heston. Love them. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love some of the old and, movies. And, uh, ben, James ben, Bond, that was always a Christmas. Yeah. Ben Hur is not bad either. I like that one too. I like watching that. And so, but oh, Richard, what have you been up to? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wave my way out. Good to see Bye. you guys. Bye. Bye. Have a we'll good see Christmas. You love you guys. Bye. Have an awesome Christmas. We love you. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Love you, friend. Love you. What have I been up to? Um, mostly AI stuff. Um, but starting to get into <laughs> SDL. And you work for Microsoft or something? I know. It's this thing. This is the original AI right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not new. It's the same old thing, just with a new packaging. I told uh, somebody that the other day, Richard. People yeah. were talking about self-driving cars. I'm like, self-driving cars have been around for decades. They look at me, I was like, yeah, for rich people, it's called chauffeurs. <laughs> I thought it was like uh, go-karts <laughs> you could push down a, a hill or something. No, it was, it was chauffeurs. I've, a lot of people are self-driving cars. Watch me get in the car and go here and not touch the wheel. Bentley? Yes, sir. Take me here. So there you go. Um, Parker. Yeah, Bentley. The ones Parker and the pink one. Um, yeah. yeah, so SDL, we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, hopefully a lot of work next year in the SDL because it hits 20-year um, birthday in January. 
So mm -hmm. I'm going to try to refresh some web pages and make it look interesting again and update it for what we call dynamic SDL. Try to explain what that means. Still working on what that means, but we'll, we'll work it out. If, if you're talking about SDL, you're talking about either secure development lifecycle or you're talking about what you presented on secure initiative type stuff. Secure development lifecycle. It's part of the SFI. Yeah, the secure futures initiative is we have to. Oh, man, someone at the door. Hey, I'll be back. It's a, it's a delivery. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, a lot of, um, so I need to sort of, more than you sort of need to ensure that I'm going to get in into the experts thing in Dublin before I book my ticket. I mean, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Yeah. Where did Dublin come from? I forget. Um, and, and Rod, you and I can, we can, um, we, we can connect and figure out how we can land at the same time. Do that type of stuff. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, we will. I'll, I'll be in Paris at the Microsoft AI tour. I'm like a few days before that, right, Morton? So it's like, is it a week There's, before or two or three? Yeah. Days uh, last time I heard about it was uh, Thursday, the week before. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm not coming to Paris. Not one of my favorite places. I'll, I'll come directly in, in to to demo. Well, but if I'm there, it's going to be awesome. No, it's not. You. It'll be two miserable people. In the same place. We'll, so we'll not be running just, around the Eiffel Tower, getting our getting our run in. You can keep that. I'll meet you in Copenhagen. All right. I'm I'm mm -hmm. coming from MVP Summit. That's the week before, so I'll be flying back from the US. Uh, I think Friday, landing in Denmark on Saturday. So, so that's gonna be in the week before. Does Denmark have a? Um, I guess it's up to me to figure out whether Denmark has a, a direct flight from Atlanta. I doubt it. I oh, probably just, it, no, yeah, you have to probably, if you're going with Delta, there, you probably want to do... Uh, Amsterdam? Uh, uh, yeah, Amsterdam, exactly. I was just going to say that. So that's probably the hop, and then we can you can go to Copenhagen from there. But we'd love to have you in Denmark. It would be really cool. Yeah, I, um, I'm going to make a very honest attempt to make sure I make that. I just need to check my schedule because I got some other things. I'm, I'm going to do a B-Sides um, event next year. It's going to be in Puerto Rico. Um, and I was going to submit to the MMS thing, but um, I decided to sort of not... I don't know what I'm going to do until to Roger. You and I need to talk about that too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, but let's talk about presenting. So I've been on the road like Here's my here's what I've been doing since November first. Went to Ignite, so I got to meet more in person and actually meet Rod the first time in person. <laughs> so we did Ignite. I come home from Ignite, spent two days, and then I leave and I go to Morocco for two weeks. So I was in Morocco for fourteen days. Come back home from Morocco, stayed home for two days, and then I flew out to Houston to present at the Hasmog meetup. Uh, I was supposed to meet Rod mm -hmm. there, but he decided it was convenient for him to catch the flu, so he couldn't he couldn't make it, and I had to present. <laughs> so I presented there on what did I present on MDI and ITD uh, ITDR uh, identity detection and threat response, something like that. So that was a really good session. Then I left there and went straight to DC with my son for two days. Then I come back home, been home since Friday night, and then. You're wearing me out. I went to Seattle overnight. I left Monday, came back yesterday. So I got back yesterday. I'm home for two days, and I'm headed to Aruba for six days. And then when I come back from that, I'm home a day. I got to run to Phoenix for a day trip. When I get back from Phoenix, and then after that, I have to fly to Nashville. <laughs> and then that closes my year out. <laughs> I don't. I don't even. I wouldn't look forward to that. I'm sorry. I know you probably do, but that would wear me out. It, it has warmed me out, but it's it's, it's yeah. a necessary evil. It's, it's, it's just yeah. this year, but I made diamond. You're like, hey, congratulations, you made diamond. Of course I did. You know, on Delta. But um, one of the things I've learned from being a traveler, don't miss the opportunity to really build goodwill and smiles because mm -hmm. it's sort of a tradition that when you're flying this type of year, you always have something to give the flight attendants as you come on. It's a chocolate, hmm. ten dollar. You know, they are collecting. 
They, I mean, when you're coming on the plane, I love this time of year. Everybody's friendly. They're they're getting out of their parking spots. They're helping you with stuff. They they it was not chaos. I, I wish this time of year could last. Everybody's everybody's just nice. And so that when you come on the board, the flight attendants are there. Everybody's handing them gift cards and this and chocolates and all this. And it's a really good look. And then we go back to hating each other here in January, the second week of January. <laughs> See, that's <laughs> funny because I, I would have expected it to be the other way. You know, people stressed about traveling during the holidays. And so that's 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 pretty interesting. You don't want to be stressed on Fly Southwest. There you go. Mm-hmm. Or what's what's the other one? The one where you have to pay for even like an armrest? Oh, uh, Frontier? Spirit. Yeah, Frontier. Or Blue something or another. I don't know. There, they used to there, was, there was a joke that people were sitting on the tarmac and they had moved and they were like, well, why are we not taking off? Well, we don't have a pilot. You guys can pay for the pilot. We need more people. <laughs> it's empty in there. <laughs> you can know, get the pilot upgrade. Is anybody here a pilot? You just, you just watch a YouTube video. I could do that. Do you guys realize planes fly themselves? You you don't need a human. You 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 basically need a human to ensure safe ascent with non obstruction and descent to make sure what the computers can't see you don't run into other thing. Planes fly themselves, mm. right? We talking about Copilot and and Microsoft. That's a good juxtaposition. It's Copilot. There's a reason, yeah. It's not autopilot. Copilot is not autopilot. It, it, yeah, you better keep it to copilot mount. You don't want an autopilot. But these planes are sophisticated. So all those now those dials and stuff. <laughs> and I got pilot friends. John, aren't you a pilot also? I thought you were a pilot. They're twisting the knobs and everything. That's show. They're making sure that those particular chronometries work by taking them out of tires and putting them back. They don't have to really do anything. Can I give it? Throttle, and can I back it off and get your flaps to be able to get the downdraft? You know that does not dis- dissuade it because your skill as a pilot is when you when all this doesn't work, can you fly the plane? <laughs> that's 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 the thing of a pilot, right? And fighter pilots, yeah, you know, fighter pilots absolutely have almost zero, you know, interaction when you go into combat mode. It's it's you. <laughs> Right. It'll, the, the computers will keep you from overcompensating and blowing yourself up. But so, what super gift that you get, Richard? That you had to run to the door and unload and all that? Did you get a new car? Popcorn. <clears throat> My neighbors popcorn. like to make their own special popcorn and bring popcorn around. So yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, I hope it wasn't Microsoft sending you popcorn because I didn't get mine. I didn't get my stuff either. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I found that, you know, Microsoft it depends on uh, which team you're in as to how much presents you get. Christmas. It does. Some teams are very good at giving stuff away. Um, yeah. And others, they just say Merry Christmas and away you go. <laughs> just get a lot of time off instead. No, nobody likes me, so I just I don't expect anything. <laughs> yeah. Everyone loves you, Rod. Yeah. yeah. John, John, I have to meet you once uh, to, to talk with you about scuba diving. I'm a scuba diver myself. And I, I really... That. Yeah, so my whole family are scuba divers as well. I'm also a dive master and a master scuba diver as well. So, it's, yeah, so it's really great to meet passionate <laughs> IT people that are also scuba divers. So yeah. So you'll be at Summit? Look me up. I'd yeah, love to chat. I can do that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I dive so, too. I was, hey, Noodle, uh, that's a, Noodle, nice this is Edward. a good, uh, this is good. Maybe we need a a scuba diver security <laughs> scuba diver thing on the discord channel a deep dive into diving i love it exactly. we're, we're, we're not diving in the river we're going to snorkel because my wife was trying to pull out yeah i'm so lame that you know i would start a lot of my sessions with let's dive in yeah i don't make money for my creativity i'm just saying <laughs> teach more the hand signals so no one that can pull up yes yeah. i just think <laughs> I got to get a new regulator too. Um, thought about that. Uh, and some new tanks too. I, I'm, I'm so paranoid that when I travel, it, it, it takes all the all of me to not be fearful of renting tanks. I just don't trust people's maintenance. I just oh, hate yeah. it. Yeah. And especially, I, I go look at, you know, oh God, what was I at? Oh God, the steer of the tank was all rusty. Like I had been denting up. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I, I think the, the, the limit of my ambition is um, 
we're going to just do some jet skiing while we're there and we'll, you know, we'll park it and dive off the side, go down, snorkel a little bit. Found my old mask and my old wetsuit from the Navy. Wow. <laughs> still, fit. nice. still fits. <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah, still fits. I teach yeah. a lot I, of uh, closed circuit rebreather now, so I'm uh, I'm kind of into that these days. Oh, okay. All right. I um. I think if I if I did it again, uh, I can't have the thing in your mouth. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but I don't hate the mouth. But I like the whole face one, so I'd probably try it again if I. My last name's Diver. I can't I can't dive. I tried it. And I was like, oh, oh, let's get out. No, not having this. <laughs> yeah. My, like, my son I, is uh, 15 and he just decided that he wanted to become a dive master. So it's going to be a junior dive master. So it kind of runs in the family. But uh, oh, yeah. so he really would like to, to teach people, you know, to become an instructor. So yeah. it's really cool. Well, I would. Uh... I would love to help him on that journey. That's what we should do. Maybe uh, run <laughs> Edward is just, we'll just do a, a security focused scuba training. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking about teaching today, actually, I managed to get my uh, certified trainer renewed for the twenty fifth time. Wow. So congrats! Congrats! Yeah. So yeah. I started in nineteen ninety nine. So just got it renewed again. So that's kind of a special day. That was a good year. I remember that year. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I renewed mine for the twelfth time this year. Is uh, it is it like driving where at, when you reach a certain age they won't give you a license anymore? Uh, <laughs> probably. I wish they would take some people's licenses away. Golly, I hate driving. That's how Rod, you're, you're not talking about. from experience here, right? I don't know what I'm talking. About. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't like driving. I'm old and crotchety now, so now I only get off my damn lawn. I don't. I, I'm the same. My my wife is is horribly motion sick, so she for like the past since we've been married, she drives most of the time, and I've gotten really used to it. Every once in a while, she'll, would you mind driving? I'm like, no, I don't want to drive. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy <laughs> I to be enjoy the sitting in the passenger seat. Yeah, I'm more there. than happy to be chauffeur driven around by my wife. More than that, mm -hmm. it's great. I'm yeah, you my know. wife will chauffeur me in her car. She won't drive my truck. I don't want to drive the truck. Golly. That was the best part about my kids getting their licenses, right? Is I could uh, have them not only drive each other, but drive me. Yeah. Not, and not drive yeah. you crazy. I mean, literally That's why drive. you have kids, so they can do your work for you. Yeah. So I wonder, um, I think, you know, we uh, we had some folks that were in the show. I, I forget who dropped off. Some people did say that uh, they could only stay for a minute. I thought Steve Lee would have probably popped in. Uh, I know he He had, may have um, tried while we had a bunch of people already on and um because of that subscription thing we'll have to we'll talk about that later yeah we can do that. yeah he may have um, tried yeah we we yeah it's, it, we'll figure it out next year it's part of the 2024 series of improvements that we'll do <laughs> but, you know, we'll, we'll go that route you know so um you know last week's show was really good with kjo and talking about you know, the KQL learning resources. Um, you know, one thing was I, I, I run what? I run Firefox, Brave, Vidali, Edge, all in of this computer, I'm not running Chrome at all. And I save each browser for something very specific. I use Edge or Vidali. What, Vidali, uh, if you guys are not using that browser, I think that's Rod's favorite, right? It's so customizable, right? And um, I use that for all subscription base. I started doing a just a tally of all the things I've signed up for. I said, man, I got to stream some of this stuff down. Like um, whenever someone sends a special, like I bought a lifetime membership to Shodan, right? Enterprise, right? With 99 bucks or something, five bucks actually. No, uh, what was it, Rob? 50 bucks. And um, barely used the thing to scan IPs and looking for S3 buckets. So I'm, I'm consolidating all these things that I bought. And um, if I'm not going to use them, maybe that's something we give away. Right, it's lifetime. Just switch the email over and say you're gonna have it. The show dance is probably really good for pen testers and stuff like that. People that are doing reconnaissance, right? I just can't resist the deal. <laughs> so I go out and I buy it impulsively. I just got junk. Like the guest that's coming on next week, week after next. Uh we don't have a show next week, by the way, for those listening yeah. in. Just just be um, aware that we're actually taking a week off. Imagine that. Should. <clears throat> The show in January, we got, uh, is it Jason? 
He runs the Intune How To uh, YouTube channel. So he's gonna come on and talk about that. And I enticed him to come on. I met him at Ignite. And um and he agreed to come on. I sent him my ESA firewall. I said, you have the firewalls. I heard you give them away on the show. I said, I got plenty of firewalls. Which one you want? So I sent him my ASA because he Is wants to do some stuff. Stephen Hosking? Maybe. Stephen Hosking, yeah. Yeah. So I sent him a you see he got up and running, found a license for it, updated the the uh the um um iOS on it. They didn't want to call it iOS anymore, I forget. And he put the fire firepower module on it. And he said he said it works fine. Got a couple of more away we'll give away next year or something. I got another Fortinet I'm not doing anything with. And I got Apollo Alto that's sitting downstairs. Wait that is January it. 10th, by the way. January 10th, he's coming on. Steven, yeah. I'll, I, I won't be here. I'll be in the air. Headed to San Francisco. We need to make sure we make a note of that so we can make sure we cover. At least if I invite the gentleman, I got to at least make sure I'm there, right? Can't invite uh, a flight. Well, I know Steven. So the, the conference that you talked about, Potentially submitting sessions for MMS in um, at the Mall of America in Minnesota, which Morton's actually him and I may actually do that. We'll see. Um, that's where I know Stephen from. Stephen, I've, he's he's there at every one of those. I, in fact, I saw him at the one in Miami in uh, November. Mm -hmm. He's an Aussie, uh, yeah. you know. So he's back home in Australia, but he has family in Utah. So he had me ship all the stuff to Utah. <laughs> it's okay. We do that. He's good. He's a good guy. Uh, good to meet him at Ignite. Um, hmm. John, were you at Ignite? I was not this year because I had a uh, previous commitment in Dallas. So I was bummed. I, and uh, I tried to uh, catch some of the virtual sessions and that didn't go well. So um, I caught some of it. And, um, and then, um, uh, wait a minute. No. So this year Ignite was uh I was down speaking at a conference in Florida. So Oh, you were at uh uh what's the name of it? Live 360. Live. That's no. right. I love that conference. So you were at the um oh what's what's the amusement park right next to uh Universal Studios. Universal Studios, yeah. Where I was the there last year. I love that. Yeah. I love that conference. That's, that's I do too. Fun. It's it's one of my faves, and that's why uh, given that choice, that's why I, uh, I went. And Stephen Rose was there, so yeah, um, a friend of yours, and yeah, uh, Michael Niehaus. So it was Michael is with uh, Two Pint now instead of Tanium. He is uh, he no longer works for Tanium. He now works for a company called Two Pint Solutions. Imagine that. Um, well, about two pints. I was just exactly thinking what it is. It's it's a UK company. They uh, the people I've known them since I wrote that first book. I've known known them since that SMS installer book, Edward. Um, they started a company called One E. They sold the company. Uh, one of the owners went and, and was a pig farmer for about ten years, and then they decided to get back into technology, and they started the company called Two Pint, um, because. They like to go to the pub. I do my best thinking when I'm drinking. <laughs> all, all inhibitions are down. I'm like, now why can't I time travel? You know, Edward, can I use that as my new tagline? I do my best Absolutely. thinking when I'm a drinking. Absolutely, you can. <laughs> I came up with it when I was drinking. Uh, <laughs> See, there you go. You know, one thing that we're going to do on the show to those who are going to go back and listen to the recording later is that we're going to do our darnest. I'm sort of in charge of this, of getting more, you know, MSI swag into your hands. We're going to create some stuff. We, we're also known as Red Cup Security. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we, we get this stuff out. Um, people actually like it, man. I drank out the same Red Cup, Rod, since you've been part of the show, right? Yeah. Yep. We, we all, you know, what's in here is of, you know, debate. <laughs> it's apple juice you know that's what we do um yeah we're gonna get more we're gonna create some stuff that we can get in, into people's hands and do stuff like that right especially if we end up being at you know a conference or something and it's easier than a t-shirt you can never bring a, the right size you know you're never gonna have the right size for everybody but everybody can, this is a universal size you know if it if it's not enough room because it only holds what these red cups hold? Uh, 16 uh, ounces, maybe? 16. This cup holds 20 ounces. Well, it can't. It, that's not physics. Yes, it is. Fill it to the top. 
Now top it off. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, top it off. You know, as much as you want to put in here, I promise you. <laughs> so do that. Um, that's it, man. Having fun. Um, Richard, I haven't talked to you in a while. I'm in a new group. I'm doing Defender Experts. Nice. Good to so hear. So I am a GBB on that. John is familiar. We'll keep it right there. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's, that's, that's the thing that I'm doing now. So Cool. In addition to what I'm doing in the role, I'm doing a lot of the community stuff. So I'm happy with a lot of the blog posts you see come out. Um, it's been announced that inside the uh, customer connection program, that's dedicated security, the Defender Experts has a channel. John, have you joined that? Have you been invited to that? No, I haven't. I want I, to, though. I'll take care of that. Uh, I, I got to chat VT. And uh, it's actually where you can exchange information, you know, good, oh, bad, perfect. indifferent, ugly, the same way the simple ones used to be. Yeah, Christina ran. Mm -hmm. So it's been added to it now, right? I thought because uh, Christina would have joined the show. I thought she said she was coming. Um, Wait, still. Yeah. Did you get the invite out to Maria Thompson? Uh, let me look at that invite. I told you we should have just blasted everybody. Well, uh, we have identified an issue. <laughs> we have a bottleneck apparently, so we'll. We'll address it next year. Yeah, we Christina, saw the was, Christina was on the list of invites. Yeah. We sort of knew this, but they said that the number on the subscription level that we had was higher than what we, we just realized it isn't. Then they hit us, oh, you need to update. Well, they said 10 on screen, which is fine, but it should be unlimited in the uh, green room. So we'll figure it yeah, out. I, I th yeah, we'll f yeah, we'll figure it out. Um. I need a pack. I guess I need to go do that. And um, yeah, me too. I actually have to collapse my whole desk down as well. So all this is going now. My setup. You know, you get it all comfy. You get it just how you want it. Mine's already got out. I got to mm -hmm. collapse it, ship it, yeah. set it all up again. I think the biggest thing we did for the show, even if we don't get all the participants, because we realize everybody's. There was a Microsoft Christmas party in Atlanta downtown I, I was headed down there to do it and i, and I just can't because I, I really gotta go pack and get ready to go my flight tomorrow is like first thing hopping oh but we're gonna go stay at a hotel near the airport because i live an hour from the airport so i'm like 45 minutes of my speed um so we're gonna go do that but um this we just want to tell all our listeners thank you for the support thanks for coming on the show Thanks for showing your perspective. There are a lot of other podcasts you've probably been invited to. We, we hope we'll be one of those decisions where we have fun here. You can ask the questions. You know, you can be, this is a show of highly opinionated facts, right? Come on here and say whatever, right? We don't, we don't, you could be, you could be right or wrong. We, we, we just want the, the uh, perspective on it. And we're going to do some good stuff next year. We're going to have fun again. We're going to have more fun, not again, more fun. Um, we're going to introduce some new stuff. Yep. Um, you know, uh, we're going to, you know, continue with the things that work, discontinue things that don't work, uh, broaden our guests, you know, invites to, you know, my thought may be, I, I, I talked to a young lady at Microsoft and why it's not directly security related. She needs to come on the show. She was talking about a service that we have. I did not know existed. You sort of know it does. Of, there's a lot of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. you do what again? I met her at the I met her at the Microsoft Christmas. It's a gazillion of them going on. I met her at a Christmas party two weeks ago, a week ago. And when I finally talked to her team, she told me, I'm like, you do what again? Oh yeah. This is this is I was like, yeah, I want you to come on the show. Yeah. Why you tell everybody about this because <laughs> it makes sense now about what I'm seeing that's going on. So she's a she's a um, She's a program manager for a, a service that we do, and you're probably running on it, and you don't even know it. And, uh, and so she said, yeah, absolutely, I'll come on. Um, have, have you done any shows around the, the new end for private access? So I have someone lined up, uh, Camilla. She presented with me at, in Houston last week. So uh, that, was her present, um, that was her presentation. So it was SASE, but it's, it, it encompasses a lot of products to build yeah. that, that moniker. And that was one of the things she talked about. Yeah. Right? 
and it, it, it was it was fortuitous. Uh, Rod couldn't make it; he was sick. I couldn't present on security and AI. I couldn't default. I couldn't talk to Fender experts because Critical Start was the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been a little hot. Uh, so I, def- I I I pivoted to ITDR and MDI rather than going into the interest piece. But when I talked about the identity, she came on and talked about that piece and the mm-hmm. intra identity, and that's a component. So she's very nice. She's a Microsoft uh, Blue Badger. So she said, "Yeah, I'll come on and talk about it." Mm-hmm. Um, and and it's, it's interesting. Um, it's built not to beat out the competition. It's built to, as she said, it is it is niche right now as we figure out what is desired. So we're not trying to beat. Zscaler and all that other stuff. They like, yeah, sure, they go do their thing. They're an 800 pound gorilla for now, right? But what do you see? Some of the stuff. Um, and um, I worked with it this weekend, and I yeah. must say, I'm a really a fan of that uh, feature. And it's mm-hmm. like 20 minutes from start, and uh, it works with all the features that that you know admins know like uh, enterprise apps, uh, conditional access, mm-hmm. and uh, you can deploy it in 20 minutes. Then you have like remote access uh, to file shares, to, you know, terminal services, uh, to remote mm-hmm. you know, no desktop SSH and whatever you want. And I'm working with the product team right now to test some of the new features coming out that, that really looks pretty cool. and. For now, uh, I know it's uh, in private preview and, and the license uh, is enough for the a license that people have. That might change, it says in the paper, but still, it's. Uh, I think it's really a cool uh, feature. That uh, And I was uh, posting on LinkedIn uh, this weekend, and uh, you know, a lot of people are really excited about it and uh, have done to play with it as well. So it's very easy and, uh, and easy to set up. But, um, and and the access component that is called a spark my brain because I'm a networking guy, mm-hmm. you know, is the, the configuration for the the primary VPN products, right? So she sort of talks about how to set it up with Moraki, right? But you can choose just by any major player, and it sort of made everything. It it, it reminds me back in the day that you know having split brain dns and have a yeah. split tunnel was a exactly. luxury that you gave yeah. to someone but you actually came into the core and mm-hmm. everything er, nothing was exposed everything's coming out through private endpoints and stuff like that so it started going back to that model where you vpn into a centralized core device and then that's your e- e- egress and egress right and um she shows some stuff i can't talk about um I need her to come on the show to make sure because it's getting ready to go GA on a couple of things. Um, but she uh, she's in Chicago, very knowledgeable, super friendly. Um, and she said she'd come on the show and talk about it. She said, oh, yeah, I can come in January and show you a bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, I'm, I think I'm going to try to deploy it in my lab next year. Hey, look who decided to show up. Steve is here. Steve Lee. With the, and he has the too small. <laughs> he has the F version of the hat on. <laughs> And he, and he, oh, we took it off. Uh, you're, you're, you're muted or something, Steve. <sighs> no, let me see. Let me look Man, at your mic settings from you. here. Um, uh, Flex and Tony said there are 156 seats left for the, uh, the Denmark thing. I will make that decision and make that happen over the holidays. I think I, I uh, you need to make that decision right now. I'm not the, I'm not the boss. The boss is downstairs packing. No. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get me killed. Mm. Oh, you could you can blame it on me. I'm okay with that. She don't mind killing you too, yeah. at all. Yeah. You know she's ex army. She's like just one more person. You know. Uh, all right. Can you hear me now? There you go. Now I can, can hear, yeah, hear you now. Steve Lee is here. Steve yeah, Lee. Hey, Gary. I felt left out with the lack of festive gear. So I went ahead. Yeah, there you go. Look at that long one. So I stole it from my kids. Uh, <laughs> there you go, man. Stole from Santa. Santa's the victim of holiday theft and, 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 and everything. 
Steve, how you doing? The resident expert on all things defender experts for hunting, defender experts for XDR. What's going on, brother? What did Santa Claus uh, bring you? Going good. Sorry I'm late. Like my kid is uh, doing tryouts for this little elementary school flag football thing. So I had mm -hmm. to go wrap that up and came over here. And kids will be out in a few weeks. But yeah, Dex, everything in Dex land is great. Very good. We're rocking, as you know. And uh, did you tell your son... The way to make the team in flag football is when someone catch the ball, body check. And the coach like, yeah, we need we need we need a goon on the team just to make sure. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I, don't, I don't do I want him to be the goon? I don't know. But you know what? He dropped those first few passes and he was having a hard time, you know, recovering. So I had to give him a little pep talk. So that was my first kind of moment there as a dad to step in. But that was, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, need an enforcer to come in. Yeah, so there you go. I, yeah, I've been watching a lot of hockey. Probably Brody's influenced me, but I'm. But I used to watch a lot of hockey anyway, because you know Atlanta was one of the first, actually the only team in the South. We had the Atlanta Flames back in the day. Remember that? Yeah. Um, it, they used to play the. You said you go to Nashville here shortly. The Nashville has a big NHL team too. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll be in Nashville. I'll be in Nashville for New Year's. I watch um, I watch hockey to take a nap. Actually, do you ever meet a real professional hockey player? Uh, They're some of the most remarkable athletes. Oh, you think I, it's I was going to say I, I may have. They just you know you, you, it's hard to tell them in public that they're actually a hockey dude. Player. You can tell them on the golf course. You take they're a guy with a driver with one hand, he drove the ball 150 yards. One hand, whack. And he, he, hockey players has hand and eye coordination that is just is 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 otherworldly. And yeah, think about how much they skate. They essentially sprinting the entire time, right? Yeah. Happy Gilmore. He was a hockey. Happy player. Gilmore. Yeah. Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Those and 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 they can hit the hell out of a softball. They they'll tell you when someone throws a softball, they can just watch the balls in slow motion. Thank you. Because I saw one guy, uh, he was playing, he was uh, playing in the Gwinnett uh, Gladiators, the minor league here. And the guy called himself pitching the fastball. Fast, and he got and caught the ball. He just caught it, threw it back. And the he can't do that strike. <laughs> he said, well, it's going to go in. He's going to get past the guy and everything. And, uh, the hockey players are phenomenal. Hey, Steve, what do you, what do you have planned for the holiday? Quiet holiday, family type Christmas or other things? Yeah, I would say quiet. Like I'm here in Southern California and, um, you know, we kind of don't have the white Christmas around here. So we have to yeah. drive up <laughs> well, up to our local mountain and get some of that. But otherwise, yeah, it's uh, all the families here. So oh, that's good. Yeah, we don't have to go anywhere too far. Like our neighbors have to go to Pennsylvania and, and all that stuff. So being that my wife's side, my side, my parents, her parents, we got big, fat, big family. So we're all kind of staying here. Um, so yeah. I'm kind of the one who pulled the short straw, actually. I'm not taking any vacation time next week. So I'll be I'll be manning the mailbox for, for decks in case anybody wants to keep me company, send a help email to, to decks. Well, that is one area where you kind of have to stay on top of it, right? That's true. And and not only me, but, you know, our, our folks who actually run the business, who are the people who operate, who are there 24 by 7. So, like, uh, yeah, they're, 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 they don't have a sense of, of taking time off. Um, it's it's, it's, it's than, just a different way they do it. Big shout out to Brian Hooper and Phoebe Rogers, Phoebe being one of the folks. Right. Oh yeah, Phoebe. Yeah, yeah. Phoebe, yeah. one of the folks. Exactly. They were she on. Was it last? Not last. We, we before, two week before last. Yeah. Yeah. Two episodes ago, and they're asking for more people to come on to the show to talk about a few other things. Right. Uh, I had a great conversation with Ray today uh, about some stuff that we're going to be doing, Steve. So she's actually funny to talk to. Because <laughs> I don't talk to her the way you and I talk, the way you, you I keep you to talk. She, you got to figure out where to insert your words. You're not going to get a word in. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, she's so much energy, so much a energy. lot of energy. She is much, she had a good sense of humor too. She had me laughing. Yeah, like, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about what the expert stuff is going to do. Um, 
you know, uh, I will, I will hit the uh, new year with a highlight. You got a win coming up. That'll be, you probably already know about it, but that's coming up and, uh, and a few other things. So the service is growing. Um, it's maturing like hell. Well, I'm sorry. We're, we're family friendly. It's maturing like heck uh, and, and getting better. So I'm loving that too. So um, we, we need to have another show. Well, we're going to have at least one show a quarter where we talk about it because I'm the host of the show. So we're going to have it. <laughs> I was going to say that. We got it. We got to. Yeah, for well, sure. Um, I think it was Brian and Phoebe both wanted to come back, right? And maybe we need mm-hmm. to have Steve on at the same time. We can have a quarter. Yeah. Absolutely. And and I know Brian introduced himself, but he was kind of one of the co-founders of, of the whole thing too. So it's awesome. Mm-hmm. You got Brian, Brian on yeah. there. And he asked to come on and now I'm in the, the little community thing. And a lot of them say, Hey man, we want to come on and talk about this, 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 and that. If you look at their go to market uh, stuff with everybody on that team, our show is listed as one of the outlets for it. So they say, Hey, we're going to use this show to be able to get some of these outlets out. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't mind all about it. it Self-serving, right? I'm on that team, absolutely. We got we got to find some way of paying for that extra subscription. So we'll figure out a way. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we got we we have people that love to be paying sustainers to our show because we're gonna we're gonna up the ante a little bit. Um, I have some ideas. Me and Rod are gonna run through them. Make sure that we can deliver. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Time and and do that. No, this time of year, I don't know about you guys, but it just seems like all the notable security stuff kind of happens during, you know, the holidays and all the scams, <laughs> all the yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. My mom, she generally gets taken by most of them. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this is the time of year when I go out and I I sit on a couple of boards and advisories and stuff, and I I tell everybody, you you get about five major you know global and your bigger stuff november why that's when everybody re-signing up their benefits across the, the, the u.s yes that's, that's it health enrollment so hey we are so and so click on here to update your your health benefits hat christmas prime whatever buy this hat january obviously we know that right this, ta- this tax season getting ready to start right hack and prime amazon has made it's prime day the the, the quintessential hacking holiday because everybody wants something from amazon so that's the ongoing hack um so there are certain times but you know when we had the two individuals on that talk about cybersecurity awareness that was a really really good show too just tell the people keep it simple if you didn't ask for it don't click on it <laughs> and even if you're expecting it you weren't expecting this notification. If something told you it's going to ship in 15 days and you get something that says, hey, your order just shipped. Don't, this thing right here will get you in trouble all day. Go to the site, log on and see, right? But we are hyper get it done here in the US, but I'm on my soap soapbox. Why do they call it a soapbox? Ron, go. Being chat. Goes, yeah, yeah. Why do they call it soapbox? Yeah. I, I think we're actually not old enough to understand that. So, mm-hmm. Stephen Ross said, "Happy holidays, guys, and thanks for the great shows in uh, 2023. Looking forward to 2024." Yeah, we're gonna. What one of my things I want to do is at least have once a month that is very visual, where we demo stuff and sort of show stuff a little bit more, right? I want to see some stuff because some of the shows that we did are lost in translation, unless you go back and. Yeah, you have to actually watch those shows. And and I think we need to do a better job of making sure during the show that people know that we are showing that stuff. They need to watch it. Yeah, I'm, I, I want to do, you know, one of the things that we're going to do, it is not secret, Ron. So we're going to make sure that unless there's a special thing that once a month, it would just be us. Well, one of us showcases something or all of us we will take the we'll take the hour and each one of us takes 15 minutes. Especially Andrea now, what she can show since she's part of the security co-pilot team at, at Microsoft. I'd love to see what she can show. Um, and Rod, my personal tenant got accepted into the unified XCR and SIM thing. It's who you know, Rod. 
I want you to know. But, but I know, you know you. Why isn't it? Why isn't it happening? Well, I'm not standing my favors for your ass. I'm not, <laughs> once again, we're a PG show. I'm not standing my favors for your butt. <laughs> uh, no, we will. It's yeah, and they so it showed up in my tenant. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But my my lab is pretty robust. I literally have hundreds of stuff in it and dozens of endpoints that are active in the in the world. And uh, it gives me good telemetry. That's why Andrew wanted access to it. I got MDE devices deployed in Japan, France, London, and a few others. So you just, hey man, I got a laptop. If you're gonna work on it, can I send it to you? Put this on, I, I need the telemetry. So pretty good in the islands. So I got stuff all over. And, and you know why, right? Yeah. Oh, if, yeah, you know why I have all that. So I got a lot of little touch points all over the world. Uh, Thailand, um, Germany. I'm missing a place. Can't remember. Let's see. But guys and girls, whoever's on the call, I know we were scheduled to seven. Um, me being the host, I'm going. I'm going to take this time off to get some early packing. We got a gazillion messages over here. Hold on. <laughs> Who's seeing this stuff? Burr, 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 burr. By the way, a soapbox is exactly what it says people used to use a soapbox and stand on it to get above everybody else to give people a message it was an actual soap box mm -hmm. that they used so i'm assuming it's not the little cardboard ones that are like this big that no, <laughs> no. <laughs> somehow i don't think that'd be effective but well the, the, I, I looked it up too so soap would come in bricks about this size. Whoa. Right. And so you it would come in a box and you would it's like remember how they used to deliver ice? Oh yeah. Yeah. So you would <clears throat> so it was a luxury, right? It's oil and lanin and 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 you got two two versions of it. You can get lye base soap, not recommend it. <laughs> soap. And so you would they would deliver and you could get all entirety of it and a lot of places that uses the soap were tanning places and skinny places and stuff like that so you would buy the soapbox so i looked it up too i'm like why is it a soapbox because you buy yeah. you know it was not cost effective to sell you a bar of soap i have learned something from the security insight show today that is <laughs> possibly trumps all the security stuff you just <laughs> never know you just never know yeah right? Never know. Guess what I found, Rod? That actually still works. And I'm gonna get out of here. I have a Windows-based phone from HP. Oh, that's great. And it still works. I, I think we threw mine away. All my all my Windows phones eventually. I think maybe it has the right time and everything. I think maybe we uh I got the sitting adapter charger for it. I powered it up and, and it actually updated. You put it on wires, it updated the, the Windows operating system. Oh. Uh, maybe we gift it away to a, a, a listener next year. The entire kit it has with a little docking station, a charger. Yeah. Uh, the docking station has an Ethernet port on the back. Well, you um, have to you have to kind of sort of expect, and this is just me talking, but Satya said something a couple, two or three weeks ago, that we made a mistake by getting out of the phone business, and with AI and everything that's being built into a lot of these mobile devices, hey, there might be a chance that who knows? you need to go back and look at the history of why we got out and our current ceo is the reason why <laughs> go but read the history the, but he's the one yeah. that said we made a mistake of course we did go look at how, where he came from and who why that happened yeah you'll you'll know why we got out of it and 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 yeah satya's history is pretty good and how he how he ascended to where he was and his ascension called somebody to leave the company to Balmer. Yeah. Who but he, the, he wanted to stay in the business. Who who was the who was what was the name, the individual that we sent to Nokia and then came back when we Satie. No, it was Satie. I remember that person. Satie. Oh, yeah, Satie. He's either Satya was at Nokia or Qualcomm. 
I'm pretty. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bait the phone on that. 2013. Uh, Stephen Elock. Yeah, but go look at what Santier was. Well, he yeah, he made it yeah. Yeah, that's how it happened. This is actually pretty cool, man. It it updated it, everything. You can put your mail on it. You can dock your device. I know that I know that Henry like yeah, I'll take it. I'll oh, those it. were great for screencast. There was a little device you could buy that you could hook it up to a PC. Look at that. The latest outlook on it. That was the best mobile OS, mobile UI. And maybe we'll give away some old stuff. I got a Zoom sitting I found in the box. Mm. Still hey, Edward, I got a uh, Surface RT here for you. <sighs> <laughs> I got a box of stuff. And you we know. can we can write Sanford and Son on it before we send it out. Yeah, mm. we can do that. Oh, I love it. Da, da, well, everybody, da, da, da. I know we put it on there, but I saw an email that said that the show was from five to six forty-five. I'm gonna stick to it. The last thing that I saw, I want to say thank you to all of you for coming on the show. You took time out. Uh, Henry for coming on and, and and being a guest host more than once, taking taking you know Brody, Morton, especially you for the generosity and everything. And when I first met you, you could do, and Noodle, you know, you just, appreciate you, Noodle. You just took it on and, and just did it all. And I'm like, it's good to see you in person, Steve. I work with you, so there'll be no you know salutation and everything. I, I don't like my coworkers. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> thanks so much for that, John. You're busy, you know, executive busy, which is a different type of busy. And that's we need to have John back to talk about all these AI regulations eventually. So, yes, yeah, I yes, we're that. filling up next year. We're getting, we're getting a lot of requests rather than us going out and asking people to come on. Now we're we're, we're having scheduling issues. We're stepping on each other's toes a lot. Like, dude, you can't schedule. It. I already got somebody here. So we're going to fix that next year. Um, we're going to keep having fun. And if anybody wants to come on and bring a topic on, or if a topic is talked about, but you don't think that we went into depth enough and we need to have a part two, we've done some part two sessions. You can't get it all in sometime. And we'll definitely do whatever our listeners and supporters say, hey, man, do this. Um, we're not going to be dry, and we're not going to talk at our audience. We're going to have fun on here, right? We're going to have fun on here. So like I said, I do my best thinking when I'm a drinking. I'm about to go. I'm about to go become a genius here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.